<laughs> I heard that. The good old days. Oh, Lord. So, um, uh, you know, my apology. It must be. Is that weird coming on a radio interview and hearing your father as part of your intro? I think that would be a bit odd. No, no, no. I, I kind of, you know, kind of enjoy it. You know, I mean, it's just brings me joy. So I appreciate it. You know, I mean, um, it's something I perform on the road with DJ Yell a lot. So I got used to it. You know, I mean, it's just kind of, you know, the kind of calm to my ear. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I mean, I, I don't take offense when they throw up my dad's poetry. Uh, actually makes me miss him. Um, yeah. What do you, did you ever like have fear or intimidation or worry about stepping into the space as an artist um, with such big shoes to fill kind of? Um, you know, when you're young, you don't really sit here and uh, down on that or imagine that. And then <clears throat> as time goes on, you kind of feel a certain way. You know, when you were a kid, I had more, you know, kind of fear, you know, intimidation of being, you know, you know, being known as my father's son because of just, you know, the stigma that you had of his passing and all the little hula and she say, she, you know, he say. But when I got into music, it was more so, um, it was a goal to just continuously keeping his legacy going. So it was more so, you know, um, kind of my energy and you know what i mean like kind of my you know what i mean my my lane my doing to sit here as a son to sit here and make sure that he's not forgotten and then when you get into the music industry and you kind of get you know I me mean, kind of mature in the music industry you understand it's not too much of a fear but it's knowing that you know what i mean here comes the the the, the, the cons you know what i mean maybe mm -hmm. individuals who are jealous of them you know maybe mm -hmm. dislike them you know trying to hold me back on on different things but you know, again, you just get wise and it kind of like go on a limb as far, as far as just walking on faith. You know what I mean? You know, just trusting in God's path of the things that you're doing because I'm not doing nothing negative to nobody. I'm not doing nothing, you know what I mean, that is not, you know, I'm like a, a, a positive destined journey to continue a legacy, you know, or stepping anybody's toes. So you kind of let that all go and, you know, just kind of just do you. Yeah, I think that's right. I, I I was laughing because I'm thinking, as you say, people with opinions and all the industry mess. You, you know, your dad had more people with opinions and more industry mess than the average person, right? Oh, yeah. And Most that's definitely. saying a lot. I don't even know how you navigate that. Yeah, yeah. You just kind of put it to the side and, just, you know, just, you know, kind of decipher what it is. You got anything negative to say about him. It's crazy because, you know, I mean, it, it, you know, it's a different story when a person's not here to defend his or, you know, I mean, to, to give his side of what is what, you know, what I mean, so the individuals that actually naturally really do come and, and got some heartfelt stories that they might give, you know, just understanding how, how grateful he was, how he did for other people outside of just his music peers, you know what I mean? Did for their kids, did for their families. You know, me, me and myself as being his kid, we I know what he did so much because when we traveled a lot, we traveled with other kids. So when you were younger you used to sit here and wonder like, you know, what was going on? And then as you got older when he got into the White House and got all this, you know, um um you know, like this giving back that he's doing, you feel what I'm saying, you understand how much of a big heart he really did have. And as you become a man and hear these real stories and some individuals, you know, he saved their children's lives from actually paying for their surgeries, you know what I mean, uh, helping DOC have the little bit of voice that he does have now, you know what I mean, just certain different things that people actually will share with you and actually sometimes break down and cry. I had cocaine do that to me one time. Mm. And, you know, kind of just dawned on, you know, how, how much of a real person he was. Cocaine the rapper, the old... <laughs> for those who are like, yeah, cocaine. not yeah, the I'm drug. Sorry, I'm yeah, sorry. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cocaine, the rapper, which was on his label, you know, man, and, and then eventually went to work with Snoop Dogg and Dog Pound, uh, Dog Style Records. So, yeah, um, and then you just, you just, you kind of enjoy that, you feel know I me? Mean? And, and outside of the individuals that were jealous or feel like they had a money situation or a business problem with him or he act this way, it's like, you know, I mean, you just, you kind of cipher out the real from the fake. Yeah, yeah, I, I um, me and your dad, Easy E did a broadcast inside um, Los Padrinos Juvenile Hall. And after we were done with the radio show, we had a panel and, you know, the kids were the the inmate children were the the studio audience. And then after the broadcast was over, 
Uh, your dad went spent hours in the juvenile hall going from you know, dorm to dorm, room to room, talking with kids, um, t- you know, signing autographs, taking pictures. And then I found out, he didn't even tell me this himself. I found out later from some of the officials at probation that he had donated a ton of money after we left to make sure that those kids had um, supplies and they had televisions and all this stuff. Um, that part was wow. never in the press anywhere. I only know because I organized the broadcast and convinced Eric to do it. And I saw him sitting there with those those young people. And it was so ironic to me because it took literally weeks of negotiation for me to convince the probation department to let Easy e <laughs> into the juvenile hall wow. to do the broadcast. Like, I mean, Why would we let a story. gangster I mean, rapper into a juvenile hall? Yeah. You know, And then they end up being elated because they got all these donations from him and, and such a great influence on all those kids. Yeah. Yeah, that is beautiful. I really appreciate that. I mean, yeah, that 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 speaks volumes. My father's heart, which again comes from his his, his parents, which raised me. So, mm. I, you know, I really truly truly believe it. That's my that's my daddy. <laughs> so, how do you? I mean, what about Little Easy E is like your father as an artist, and what is different? Um, as an artist, I would say you know, I mean, the growth. You know what I mean? That we both took as far as not wanting to be an artist. <laughs> and actually, uh, like I seen, uh, I seen Ice Cube do an interview, and I actually sat with Ice Cube uh, less than a week ago. Me and him had a meeting, so we were talking about, you know, this interview that he did, where he was explaining how, you know, my father didn't rap. You know, what I mean, had to go through this line for line, but became one of the best entertainers and artists and rappers that he knows of. So, you know what I mean? Like when you get when you get beyond the whole oral story of, you know what I mean? Oh, we had to punch line for line. And then when it became something, you know what I mean? It was one of the greatest voices, you know what I mean? And the most, you know what I mean, authentic individuals that is actually speaking things that he lived of in his life. You know what I mean? It's authenticity. You know what I mean? So me and him have that in common. You know what I mean? As far as just naturally being where we're from. You know what I mean? Naturally speaking, the things that we have lived are related to, as far as my father when he passed away. You know, as a son, you kind of, it's hard not to, you know, be living in Compton, California and kind of take a path in the things that he did, you know, if it was right or wrong. You know what I mean? We're old enough to sit here and, and, and erase as much as the, the, the common wrongs that we did. So, yeah, we had I had a tough bringing up, you know what I mean, trying to chase that lifestyle. Mm. So, um it would be that, you know what I mean, as far as in the business aspect, my father's probably the greatest businessman that I've known about, you know, and then just, just the keenness and the thought, thought process of the things that he wanted to do and vision and could have did if he, you know what I mean, if his passing wasn't so early. So, I, I mean, I can't relate to that. You know, I got to give it hands down to my father as far as him being one of the greatest businessmen there is. As far as in entertainment-wise, yeah, we had the same kind of coming in. You know, it wasn't something we naturally wanted to do. I played football. Uh, I wanted to be a football player, you know what I mean? So it, uh, it was something that fell upon in my lap and was became my journey. And then, like I said, I worked with uh, DOC earlier, uh, Ice Cube real early, and Drake. So, you know, all the stories that individuals tell you as far as when they'll, like, punch you line for line and line to make you sound great. Like, I went through that boot camp. And, like, um, like you know, I'll quote Cube, not to sit there and pat my own shoulder. I feel like, you know what I mean? I'm probably one of the best performers there is, you know what I mean, in the game to be younger or older. You know what I mean? When I hit the stage with the likenesses of, uh, I got to do a Coachella with uh, Q, Ren, Yella, uh, Kendrick Lamar, Game. You know what I mean? I kind of, you know, tip my hat to as far as in being able to perform with the best of them. And I do my father's music, so I guess that's a cheat sheet I got, you know? <laughs> uh, that's uh, We you call know? it an inheritance. <laughs> a little <There> easy, <laughs> little easy E is in the house, well, on the phone. Uh, one day you'll have to uh, stop through KBLA, uh, talk 1580. We'll continue the conversation. And no disrespect, man, we're trying to play some of his music, not just his dad's music, but... The clean versions are hard to come by. <laughs> We're talking with Little Easy E and you on KBLA Talk 1580. Say the quiet part out loud. loud. KBLA Talk 1580. We must understand the politics of our community. And we must know what politics is supposed to produce. produce. This election year. 
KBLA Talk 1580 is the place for politics, unapologetically progressive politics. And we've got two of the best and brightest to help you cut through all the noise. Weekdays at 1 p.m., it's a more perfect union with Dr. Nick Quarterly Corte. And at 4 p.m., it's Ariva Martin in real time. He's the university professor and distinguished member of the White House Correspondents Association. She's a best selling author and Harvard trained civil rights lawyer. And they are both here every day to help guide you through all the sh this year because you know it's going to get deep. Get your politics on weekday afternoons at 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. with a more perfect union. Hosted by Dr. Nick Quarterly Corte and Ariva Martin in real time. Only on KBLA Talk 1580. We've got your black. black. Oh, this cold. Honey? <laughs> honey? Honey, you need Dayquil Severe Honey. Dayquil Severe Honey gives you powerful cold and flu symptom relief with a honey-licious taste because life doesn't stop for a cold. Okay, I'm ready to go. <coughs> now I'm getting a cold. Honey? Try Dayquil Severe Honey for powerful cold and flu relief. Dayquil Severe with honey flavor. The daytime coughing, aching, stuffy head fever, honey-licious, power through your day, medicine. Use as directed. Keep out of reach of children. Are you wet shaving? You'll get razor bumps. Nah, Pops. I'm good with Gillette Skin Guard. How long you been growing that beard mama hates <laughs> anyway? Since 77. I shaved and got ingrown so bad. That's why I use the Gillette Skin Guard razor, face scrub, shave gel, and moisturizer. So I don't have to worry about new razor bumps or shaving irritation. Gillette Skin Guard, huh? <laughs> Your mama's going to love this one. <laughs> <laughs> the best a man can get keeps getting better with Gillette Skin Guard. Buy now at a retailer near you. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Thanks for waking up with Dominique DePrima on KBLA Talk KBLA Talk 1580. I don't even want to talk over Eric. I miss him. Rest in peace, Eric. Right. Easy E. We're talking with little Easy E. This is my first time interviewing you on the radio. <clears throat> and I cannot believe that it has been 29 years since your father left the planet. That's crazy. Yeah, it's indeed. Yeah. It's been a while, yeah. I've been down on it myself, yeah. So, I mean, you've been, I remember when I was a kid, um, I used to not want to say that my dad was a Mary Baraka and my mom was Diana Prima because I felt like I wanted to make it on my own. Like, I don't want to be, you know, known for being their kid. I want my own shine. And uh, the famous poet Allen Ginsberg said to me, your parents ain't going to leave you no money, so you might as well use the name because that yeah. is your inheritance. That's what you got. Um, but you seem like you go beyond, like, using the name Lil' Easy E to build yourself up. I feel like you're on a mission to build, to make sure that your father is properly given his place in hip-hop. 
Oh, you put it, you put it right on the nose. You know, I mean, uh, that's one thing a lot of people the misinterpretation of. You know, when I got into this game, you know, you might get, you see <clears throat> all the things. You know, I've been on reality TV, so it's like, oh, you, you know, why does he not dress? Like, he's always trying to dress like Eve. Why does he try to be himself and this, that, and the other? Like, I'm sorry, that's just me. You know, what I mean, <laughs> like, you know, when you have a great father that was taken away from you so long, you know, what I mean, I don't have no problem and don't see no wrong in an individual child growing up wanting to be just like that individual, you know what I mean, and had a, a great reputation, you know, outside of it, what, promiscuous of women? Oh, well, you know. Uh, so <laughs> I, a little bit. I, I, you know, I, I angled to be that, you know what I mean, wanted to dismiss them. So it, a lot of things was natural. When his mother says, hey, you do this just like your father. Oh, well, you just, yep. you have that, you know, have it, you just like your father. Or you eat this and you do this just like your father. That's just natural. So when I came in this game, it wasn't to sit here and carve my own lane into it. You know what I mean? I wouldn't give a hoop lop about this rap game if it wasn't for the fact that my father was in it and passed away so early in it and was left forgotten about. So that is my goal. That is my mission. It's not my own accolades. It's not anything in that nature. If it comes about doing that, all praise due to God. You know what I mean? Other than that, it's really just the fact of just to keep him going. You know what I mean? So we did the street naming that will forever be there. You know what I mean? Easy got a Street. Achievement award. City of Compton. Yeah, exactly. Easy Street, right in Compton. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Just trying to knock down every door to make sure that his, you know, his stamp is placed up in this game. You know what I mean? When I was a kid, it's funny you said that, Dominic, because when I was a teenager, I did run away from it. I think it came and broke out of me about the age of 16. Mm. You know what I mean? So ever since, you know, he passed when I was 10. <clears throat> so, of course, you know, 29 years ago, and then we buried him April 7th. I turned 11 April 23rd. Wow. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So uh, <clears throat> from then on, you know what I mean? I went to a private school my whole entire time. You know, he used to come visit me at. So my grandmother worked there, his mother. So, you know what I mean? She was more so one of the, like, you know, the kind of the individuals that ran it. So I was there. Those kids knew me. And because they always, you know, when he used to come, they used to run to the gate. Eric, 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 your dad's here. So like, ah, you know, he's picking me up. <laughs> so you knew he was here when everybody runs to the gate. So that I went from there from two years old up until fourteen. So fourteen on on, I went to a public school. So when I went there, that's when you hit it. You know what I mean? You didn't. You did. I went to school like further deep in Long Beach, almost like <clears throat> El Dorado area. You know what I mean? And you didn't. You didn't want to sit here and kind of just highlight that so much, and I, it was quiet. I remember one coach, I would play football, a coach was coming down. He was taking roll, so he was like, easy E, and I must have, like, my heart dropped. And I'm like, what? And he walked by. He says, do you know you got the same name as easy E? And he was like, it's funny. <laughs> but uh, you're here, Eric Wright. <laughs> and he kept going down the line, and my heart was just a thumping. And I'm like, how did he find out of all this time? So I ended up transferring from that school, and I did a Double XL magazine uh, article with Daz Dillinger a long time ago. And when I, by this time, I'm going to my dad's, you know, alumni, my old, I mean, my alumni, my uh, in our city, Dominguez High School. So when I left there, and then I was still playing football, and they see me again, they said, like, wow, Eric, why didn't you never tell us? It was around that time, about 16 or 17, I kind of, you know, you kind of rip off, you know, your chest hairs, and now you want to stand tall and be like, hey, you know, I'm proud and want to represent who my father is instead of, you know, you kind of get mature, you know, instead of that closed closet because, you know, you got all kind of stigma that goes with it. I think I was telling a story for health class, and I told kids, like, hey, you know what I mean? Believe it or not, I was asked, do I have AIDS before I lost my virginity? Are you kidding you know I mean? me? So it's okay. Wow. No, you know what I mean? So, what you is know, wrong I was doing health class to let the kids know. Yeah, that it was, you know, I do a lot of AIDS activist work. So this, this talk I was giving to kids to let them know that it's okay to know their status because it's, it's attacking kids. When I was in school, it was attacking ages from 21 to 30. Now it's attacking ages from 15 to 22. You know what I mean? So I go and talk to these individual kids, which is funny, you know what I mean? It comes with, you know, you telling me the story earlier, Dominique, about, you know, juveniles and, you know, I, you know, tend to do it myself. So when I'm mm, doing it, yelling love at the that. and say, his dad does the same thing. He stops and he talks and he takes every picture. And like a lot of the things <laughs> when you hear stories, like you telling me that lights my heart up because I was like, wow, you're describing me. You know what I mean? But like, DNA, you know I mean, I mean me, the DNA is that. real. That's not, you don't have to copy him. It's in every cell of your oh, body. Yeah, not at right? All. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I, yeah, because I, I grew up, you know, for a large part of my uh, youth without my dad there, just because my my parents were separated. And you know, when I started spending time with him, his wife would always say, "You, you do this like your dad. You do that like your dad." And I had always done it that way. It wasn't because I was influenced. I came out. Yeah, I woke up exactly. like this. <laughs> you know? mm-hmm. um, let's go to um, the Queen of Compton, Molly Bell, <laughs> straight out of Compton. Uh, you're on yep. the air with Lil <clears throat> Easy. Reparations in memory of our ancestors. Uh, good morning, Lil Easy. My morning, name is Molly. Morning. My name is Molly Bell, and I'm straight out of Compton, West Side. <laughs> that's I'm right, 70, that's right. I'm 77 years old. And so I met your father when uh, we were going to court, you know, when Rodney King got beat up, the four officers that were there. Well, I know your father uh, from the attorney that uh, uh, Officer uh, Brasenio had, and your father was there supporting a police officer. We talked about cop killer and all the other things, and he was there supporting a police officer and uh, uh, out of all the ones who beat up Rodney King, because he always said that Officer Bresenio tried to stop it. And when I came home, and I'm fixing to hang up, Dominique. When I came no, home, tell your story. I, I, I told my, I showed it to my niece, and she brought all her friends over because I didn't. We didn't have cell phones back in those days. They had to get the pictures developed. Mm-hmm. And when she saw them, and she was, my aunt, my aunt, no, easy e. And I became big time in her eyes and with the young people. And so thank you for sharing that. And just one reminder, easy eat today is Good Friday. And my Jesus went to Calvary. Three days later, he got up. So I'm looking at you. Today is Good Friday. Easy E is gone. But here I am on Good Friday talking to his son. You be blessed because the struggle continues and always to God be the glory. Thank you, Dominique. Thank you, little easy. Amen. Amen. I appreciate you. God bless you. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much, Molly Bell. Molly Bell, uh, I'm tempted. She sent me the pictures. I'm tempted to send her to post them. It's her with easy E back in the day. Um, but you know, (laughs) it's, it's amazing how many lives he touched. Meanwhile, you're, you're literally touring the world now, right? It's you've gotten past yep. the whatever the initial hesitation was, and now you're worldwide. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, me and uh, Yella go back to Australia. We have uh, seven dates. Uh, the middle of this May. Wow. Yeah. And of course, we can follow you like hundreds of thousands of other people do on Instagram, <laughs> um, and to find out, right, if we want to. Um, if we want to go to a show, it's Lil Easy underscore E. Um, and, yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I mean, you do a good yes, job indeed. of yes, keeping indeed. everyone up to date. Um, what's your next show? Uh, actually, today. Today I'll be at the Toyota Arena in Ontario today with uh, the game. Uh, Dog Pound, East Siders, uh, Baby Bash, Mr. Rob, and uh, MC Magic. Just another Friday for you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know it. <laughs> just another Friday. Look, we, we're we about to go into news, traffic, and sports, but I'm going to set this up so you can think about it and talk to us about it on the other side. A little easy E. Um, well, two things. One is I'm curious because I know of the love, the extreme love and hate uh, for your father in the industry. I'm curious about how some of the other artists have um, embraced you or or the opposite of that, how they have taken to you, how they've reacted to you in your journey as an artist. And also, you got a complicated family like mine. You got 11 uh, total, I think, um, siblings and all the backstory. So I'm, I'm curious about, you know, where you guys are, you know, as, uh, as a family, the, your generation. That's next on KBLA Talk 1580. She's reclaiming her time on KBLA Talk 1580. More First Things First with Dominic DePrima when we come forward. Thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Mike Moore. Now here's the latest from the Black Information Network. 
Former President Trump's legal team is bringing up the First Amendment in the Georgia election interference case. His team argued in Fulton County Court yesterday that Trump's claims that the 2020 results were fraudulent should be covered by free speech. Prosecutor Donald Wakeford says Trump is not allowed to employ his speech or expression as part of a criminal conspiracy to distract opponents. A federal appeals court in Virginia yesterday rejected a request by black voters in North Carolina to order the General Assembly to redraw two Senate district maps in the northeastern part of the state. The plaintiffs argued in a lawsuit that Republican gerrymandering of the so-called Black Belt region constituted a violation of the Voting Rights Act. And that's the latest. I'm Mike Moore from your 24-7 news source, the Black Information Network and BINnews.com. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Their all-in-one platform helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all from one place. And Indeed's interview tool lets you schedule and conduct virtual interviews right from their website. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. This, this is the KBLA Sports Minute with Ray Richardson. Ray Richardson. The Lakers and Clippers are back in action today on the road. The Lakers are at Indiana. The Clippers are in Orlando. Both games tip off at 4 p.m. The Lakers, on a five-game winning streak, are still in ninth place in the Western Conference. They're two and a half games behind Dallas to get into the sixth spot to avoid the playing round. The Lakers have nine games left to get it done. The Dodgers beat St. Louis in their home opener. The Dodgers got home runs from Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman. Shohei Otani was two for three as the DH. The Dodgers and St. Louis play again tonight at Dodgers Stadium. First pitch at 710. Clemson and Alabama won their semifinal games last night at Crypto.com in the West Regional of the NC. NCAA men's basketball tournament. They'll meet up on Saturday for a trip to the Final Four next weekend in Phoenix. No debates, no speculation, just the info you need. That's your KBLA Sports Minute. I'm Ray Richardson. More news, opinions, and conversation when we come forward on KBLA Talk 1580. You're listening to KBLA Talk 1580, where climate is king. Climate is king. With your Los Angeles Public Library card, you can access the latest music, movies, audiobooks, ebooks, graphic novels, and more, all for free. Check it out at lapl.org slash emedia. That's lapl.org slash emedia. It's the celebration of a living legend. It's the farewell tour. It's me featuring Frankie Beverly. Thank you for the love. Hamilton. Plus, after 7, it's a Mother's Day celebration, May 12th in the Kia Forum. In commemoration, come in your all white. Get tickets at Ticketmaster. Presented by the Black Promoters Collective. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than choosing Charles Barkley in a pickup game. We'll take Barkley. Ha! First pick. Sorry, kids. <laughs> yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? Okay, here's the plan. Pass me the ball every time. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank for details. Capital One and a member FDIC. So you just used bug spray in your home. Now what? Well, between the waiting and waiting for things to dry up and keeping your family away from the mess, it hits you. You could have used Zevo. Unlike other bug sprays that stick around, Zevo goes from kill to clean in seconds. Plus, it's safe for use around people and pets when used as directed. Zevo, people friendly, bug deadly. Paid for by government.com. Did you know the United States Mint has issued a new Morgan silver dollar coin in proof condition for the first time? Not only that, they are also minted in 99.9% pure silver for the first time ever in history. Coin experts are calling this an amazing opportunity for anyone that knows the enduring popularity of Morgans. But you must hurry. Only 400,000 of these legal tender silver dollars were issued. These first ever Morgan silver dollars are brand new with stunning mirror like finish. Minted by the iconic San Francisco Mint. Call now and you're guaranteed a new first ever 99.9% pure silver proof Morgan dollar. To learn more, call 1-800-973-9717. If you order now, you will receive a free coin collector bonus pack, a $25 value free with every order. Call 1-800-973-9717 now to secure your new Morgan silver dollars before they are gone. That's 1-800-973-9717. It's game day at Jim's house, and the spread.
threat is impressive. Mike's already done some damage with the hot wings, and now he's dropping back and going deep for another slice of pizza. I sure hope he brought the Pepto. Mike knows the Pepto-Bismol provides fast, five-symptom relief from unexpected stomach upsets. He's no rookie. <laughs> the way he's throwing back those nachos, he's the GOAT. Be ready for game day with Pepto-Bismol. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a new Samsung Galaxy A15 for just $99. Yeah. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Yeah! Good talk. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at Walmart and StraightTalk.com. For network management practices, visit StraightTalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. Instore activation on single silver unlimited plan or higher required. Family plan discount with four lines all on the silver unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. In the heart of California, where innovation thrives, access to high-speed internet is important to every family and business. Cal Broadband is the state's leading expert in the development and deployment of broadband infrastructure. Each day, we work to help advance the right policies that will expand expand the opportunities of reliable high-speed internet to every community in our golden state. Cal Broadband is working hard to connect California. Visit calbroadband.org for more information. That's calbroadband.org. Heard any other talk radio lately that sounds anything like this? We didn't think so. You're listening to Unapologetically Progressive KBLA Talk 1580. Well, I'm Easy E. I got women galore. You might have but I got much more with my super duper group coming out to shoot easy e home girls cold knocking the boots cause I'm a hot thugster I used to be a monster and if you hurt you think I own a drugstore getting stupid cause I got it like that and if a sucker talks trash I give him a smack eight balls sipping the women are flipping so that I hit a dipping continue my tripping hitting my switches collecting my business get the money that I make so I can add to my riches KVLA Talk 1580. Yeah, that's your dad rapping. That's a little easy E with us right now um, on KVLA Talk 1580. Man, oh man, oh man. So um, talk to me about how other artists, how rap artists, you know, so many of them who did business or fought battles with your dad, how have they responded to you? Um, it's, 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 it's. I, you know, I get a great response, you know what I mean? I, I feel like, you know, you don't want to sit here and, you know, give me no no sad story. And then to, to be fair with you, then you'll get a different story when these individuals might, you know, years down the line want to do a tell-all interview or, you know mm-hmm, what I mean, or mm-hmm, a mm-hmm. certain different situation when it's away from me. And then they want to give, like, an alter, you know what I mean, you know, story you know what i mean like oh well you know i did this to e and this that and the other like it's crazy it's funny how individuals can tell a story about individual that's not here mm. you know what i mean and then give a negative story when you have individuals in his family that are present and then excuse my language you know what i mean real presence to kick your tail you know what i'm saying you know what I mean? like right if I, right if I, right if I, if, I, if I drifted off in that way because it can be emotional action you see what i'm saying so you know, you could be hitting a, a a spot that does not fit well. And then, like I like to tell a lot of people, he has a mother that's still, that's still very much living with us, you know, on this earth. You know what I mean? And if she finds it in any way a disrespect, then it's disrespect to, you know, us overall. But fairly, when you, you know I mean, you have individuals that give, you know, great stories. I have, you know I mean? Uh, now, their actions, how many, you know what I mean? Like, could be, you know, altered. You feel what I mean? You might have individuals who feel like, their alliance and their help and, and they're going to do this. You know, I'm never one to sit here and ever go with my hand out to anybody. It's more so I'm a businessman. So it's something that can sit here and be beneficial to us all, you know what I mean? And in and, and, and a, and a, and a good nature. And then, you know, down the line, you know, you may not hear from those individuals. See, I just didn't grow up doing the whole, you know, non real or being non straight up thing. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. when you get that, that's how you cipher out like oh well i don't know what this is because as a man to man i gave them the respect and this that way you know what i mean so it can be something that you have eternally inside yourself against my father or you know just a certain way you feel you know and that's just on you you know what i'm saying if that's if, if he still has an effect on you in that nature hey good and so be it you know what i'm saying like you know it's not meant for me to be around you and in, in, in the nature of doing anything with you so that's how i kind of cipher it and take it 
And, you know what I mean? God just angling me the right way away from you, you know? So yeah. other than that, I just, it, it doesn't make me lose any sleep, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you, know, you know, it just, it just, I, it just, you know, you just get into this industry and understand how, you know, unauthentic it is. You see what I mean? Yes, I do. It's, it's, it's actually amazing. And I know that in the industry, there are camps, just like there are camps in politics, right? People have camps, but when you're, um, even poets have camps. I, I, I know because my dad was wow. a well-known poet, right? They got their cliques. Comedians have cliques. Yeah. But when you are the child of a person, a famous person who's connected to those cliques, then many times that can divide your own family where, you know, well, your dad has 11 um, children. My dad has nine. Is it nine, Amandala? I think it's nine, <laughs> nine that we know of, um, nine that we love. Um, but then you could, the kids can get camped up too around who is down with this, this click and who's down with that click and who had what kind of relationship with the dad, the, the famous Very parent. Um, how are you and your, Very how much. are you and your 10 brothers and sisters doing with that are you guys united you guys camped up are you guys working it out where, where how does that work um just to be just fair to everybody and then just give it real it uh it, it was it was it always has been a, it's a rocky situation yeah. uh because you involve different mothers you feel what I mean? right and exactly with different mothers become different stories you know what i mean and uh different truths to a lot of different things, you see what I'm saying? So it was at a young age with us, it was it was tough. But you know, I mean, um we just accepted a lifetime achievement award and majority of us the, the nine the nine <laughs> the nine I've known ones uh, uh got together and, and, and we you know we had a great time with our grandmother and accepting that and coming out as a family but beforehand, even just working up into the street, the street naming and everything, we've been working hand in hand and you know what I mean? Just working on our relationship and, and going. And to be truthful, it was it was not to sit here and say, hey, it's all scattered out through all of us. You know what I mean? It's just, you know what I mean? It's just maybe one or two might have a situation to where another one is, is mediating that. And it's just kind of to the media and to the entertainment world possibly always been known that there's some kind of friction there. You right. know what I mean? But as far as and now, and, I, and that's just life, and that's just like growing up with, you know, being in entertainment and as a father, you know what I mean? You have a bunch that kind of is on the whole, you know, suck it up and let's get to it and let's talk, talk to each other the next day. And then you have some who kind of get embedded into this whole, you know what I mean, hip-hop or being an entertainer's, you know, child, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, where you kind of get the dramaticness of it. You right. Know what I'm Every family has their drama. Yeah. Yours just gets put under a magnifying yeah. glass and maybe um, it gets yeah. bigger because your dad is – you know, is is bigger oh, yeah. in the world, yeah. Um, and you know, well, no, we're working in, uh, and we're we're good now. Um, we have a lot of different things that we want to be working on together for his uh, estate. Uh, I love that. That's and, dope. You know, what I mean, just just yeah, just growing up. You know, I mean, getting much, you know mature. It's a lot of us, and again, I'm the oldest, so I had to wait for a lot of others. <laughs> if, if you can prioritize unity at at any point in life. Um, then, you know, <laughs> me and my brothers are still, and sisters are still working on that. And, and, uh, we've seen major progress. It, it's, it, it pays huge right. dividends. Um, you know, I, I, Julio G was on this show with me on Tuesday. Um, we were talking about your dad, um, on his angel -versary. and, um, Julio shared, uh, I don't know that he's shared it anywhere. His, his thoughts about your dad's passing there's been documentaries there's been movies um is there anything you want to share about that i'm not you know i'm not a super nosy interviewer oh, um, but i do no, have no, to not ask at all, you not yeah. at all. <laughs> yes um yes what i'm doing now working on you know i, I do a little bit of everything. i've been on tv and film for at least past six years uh in uh reality and um i did a few movies in that aspect in time so Another goal and dream of mine is, you know, to continuously his name uh, and his legacy on all aspects, you know, I mean, of anything that I do. So, um, you know, my next goal is, is directing and putting together a – I want to do it into like a part series, kind of like, you know, you would get with Snowfall, just about my father's life. 
You know what I mean? Which, of course, everybody understands. It's going to highlight Ruthless Records. It's going to highlight the NWAs. But we want to go back into where his mother, his brother, his, 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 his good friends that are still alive, living on the street, can depict and give you this story. You know what I mean? Of him growing up as a kid. You know what I mean? Up until the individual that he was. And it was, uh, you know, in that, in that, I'm going to highlight, you know, our family's personal opinions about and what we were going through at the time of his passing. You know what I mean? And then giving off what we, what we, what we feel, you know what I mean? Um, just straight up to give you an answer on here now. It's like, yeah, we do not feel that it was any, you know, aspect of, you know, what the world thinks that it has to be, you know, we never did. Uh, it's never sat right on us, you know, I man. Uh, and like I said, as a kid, I, I went to learn about this virus in any and every form that I can, because this is what, you know, to my knowledge as a child was the reason of taking my father away, you know what I mean? So, um, in, in that, in that, you know, in that project, uh, I want to highlight that. You know, and I highlight everything personally from, like I said, from his mother all the way up into his children and ourselves, what we feel and what we're going to just lay out. But in this, you know, series, I want to see her and highlight Eric Wright, you know, yep. and, uh, all yeah. the way up until Easy e All the way up until Easy e all the way beyond to Little Easy e Yeah, you know, I I never b- bought the official story, um, and I, I talked to Eric the day before he was hospitalized and I just mm, never bought the official story. Um, clearly easy. Yeah. Uh, clearly, you know, it just happened all so fast. And um, at some point, Lilisi, you may want to, you may want to check out what Julio G said on this show on Tuesday. Anyone else that missed it, you could, it's always on YouTube. Um, at KBLA 1580, and you can get these shows, including the full interview right now with Little Easy, wherever you get your podcast absolutely free. We will continue this conversation when we come forward on KBLA Talk 1580. More of First Things First with Dominique DePrima when we come forward. KBLA Talk 1580. We've got a lot to talk about. KBLA reminds you that when we fight, we win, and we don't black down. LA Community Action Network, or LA CAN, was formed in 1999 when 25 residents of downtown LA came together and acknowledged the problems that existed in their community and made a commitment to do something about those problems, to stand together, organize, and become a force in the community that demands change. Civil rights and preventing the criminalization of poverty are their core projects. In addition, they take on women's rights, the human right to housing, and healthy food access. LA CAN also has projects focused on economic development, civic participation, voter engagement, and community media. While downtown LA remains their home base, with a particular emphasis on the Skid Row community, in 2007, they expanded their housing and healthy food access work into South Central Los Angeles. LA CAN believes that power for low-income people and people of color is achieved through a large, active, and well-informed member base that utilizes a multitude of methods to advance their messages and goals. If you'd like to join the Los Angeles Community Action Network and organize people to fight back against oppression, please visit cangress.org. That's cangress.org. This is a community call to action from KBLA Talk 1580. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. What's up? I'm tired of feeling so bloated. That used to be me. Then I got this. Align bloating relief plus food digestion. A probiotic, right? Yeah, it works naturally with your gut to help soothe occasional bloating and gas. Plus, it has vitamin B12 to aid digestion by helping convert food to cellular energy. Two benefits, one capsule. Align bloating relief plus food digestion from the number one doctor-recommended probiotic brand. Get $5 off at alignprobiotics.com. Why choose a Sleep Number Smart Bed? Because no two people sleep the same. Only the Sleep Number Smart Bed lets you each choose your individual firmness and comfort your Sleep Number setting. The Climate 360 Smart Bed is so smart, it actively cools or warms up to 13 degrees on either side for your ideal sleep temperature. And now, during the final days of our President's Day sale, save 50% on the Sleep Number Limited Edition Smart Bed, plus 10% off all bases. Ends Monday. To find a store near you, visit sleepnumber.com. 
Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Attorney Joe Cordell. Business owners and professionals face special challenges in divorce court. In addition to everything else going on, they have to contend with allegations that they are earning more than they are, coupled with claims on their business or practice itself. Clients with assets depend on their divorce lawyer skills in these matters, and that's why it's so important to hire someone that has those skills. 1455 Frazee Road, Suite 1050, San Diego, California, 92108. CordellCordell.com. This is KBLA Talk 1580, where hate loses and love wins. And uh, we are talking with Eric uh, Darnell Wright, a.k.a. Lil Easy E. Talk to me about reality TV. That's got to be, uh, you weren't growing up hip-hop. I think uh, the show has wrapped now, if I'm not mistaken. But... Um, I know I've never been on a reality show. I don't know a lot about them. That must be, I'm sure it's not what we think, right? Uh, yeah, people have different, you know, thought processes of it. But, um, but you know, it, it it was it was decent. But um, give me <laughs> give me what your what your initial thought process of it is, and, and I can go. Well, I there. just don't think it's reality. I mean, I feel like just because they call them unscripted programs, I I I just assume that producers are setting up conflicts highlighting drama um, and making it more messy because they think it will drive ratings. And I do. Oh, yeah, it definitely, it definitely. Yeah, that's, that's my perception, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely in that aspect. It does drive ratings, and they do get that. So what they do is, what will happen is they will sit here and take Dominique and Eric, and we'll go and sit here, and we'll go have maybe uh, uh lunch in the same area with some individuals that we may not feel the same, you know, I mean, positive accord about, or we'll take two individuals that are on the cast and we'll sit here and put them in the same area, but we'll let one of them stay there or get there early and drink oh. as much as they want <laughs> <laughs> and drink as much as they want. Oh, wow. And then we'll have the other one show up. Just a little tad bit late when it's nice and, and warmed up and, and, you know, I mean, the aroma in the, is in the air. So that's what happens to where you get all of that drama that's so intense. And you'll be like, I just like, oh, I like, I don't know. That didn't look like it was acting. No, I was not. And, you know, I mean, it's just a setup. You know, I mean, they know how to set it up. <laughs> it's now. the ultimate setup. What we're going to do is we're, we're, we're going to hold the food. We're going to hold lunch because we're a little behind. So, yeah, you can eat as soon as we're finished, but we have all of this beverage and alcohol for you right here, you know uh -huh. what I mean, on the empty stomach. <laughs> so go ahead and tune yourself up, and then, you know what I mean, we're just going to sit here and throw you in the midst of it. So mm -hmm. uh, a highlighted uh, part of mine was when I first, maybe my second, first or second season, in the middle of my first or second season, uh, I got a drink thrown in my face by Brianna. Mm. So those are one of the occasions where, you know what I mean, you kind of, pump it up you know what i mean to as as you know as much you know height and excitement you can and then we're going to throw eric in a fire and then but you know me i just know what is wanted from producing you know i mean you know i mean a businessman i just know right. what what depicted what's looked and what's doing so me myself to be you know fair and to be honest with you i may have pushed some buttons that i knew you're going to get an you know over exaggerated <laughs> reaction you may have <laughs> You may, yeah, you may yeah, have put some fuel yeah, on that fire. You know yeah, I mean? so, you know, that's. Yeah, I mean, so that is the job. Directed, You're not there to be boring. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know, they love Eric, and he's on set. He he gets it. You know what I mean? So other than that, it was fun. You know, I didn't catch myself in too much drama. I was more full, so the uh, the um, you know letting out most fires than starting them. You know what I mean? Besides that one point, and um, and in the midst of doing that, you understood that a lot of individuals were hurt. A lot of vigils really mm. had a serious problem with that other individual. So, you know, um, just to highlight when Romeo and Angela were going back and forth, that was, you know, that was tough, you know. 
Yeah. You know, so uh, other than that, yeah, so that's how they do it. That's the mm. trickery. Um, do you have a favorite depiction of your father uh, or the NWA story or this, you know, wh it, whether it be a, a movie or a documentary or a book, do you have a favorite one that's been done so far? I know your favorite will be the one that you do, but um, yes. so far. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, um, uh, it, it was, you know, it's been so many that I think the one that I actually like wasn't too much on that. I think it was just on the very much the, 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 uh, coming up with Compton. So I think it was called The Streets of Compton by A&E that we did a while ago, uh, a while back. I kind of like that one, and it kind of just highlights maybe small parts and bits of my father. But um, to really choose something, not not too many. No, I can't say too many that I can remember that kind of sits on my head. What do you think is most um, misunderstood or overlooked about your dad's legacy um it's overlooked as, as far as this the you know the, the creator the human being he was you know what i mean the great the, the great individual you know what i mean it wasn't like you wouldn't have a lot of um, just a lot of this music game if it wasn't for him like you know i could take you back uh to give you a, a quick story that my father was you know what I mean, inventing, you know, headphones, you know, speakers, and all this, like, in 93, 94. He had a game, it was old Atari, and he he wanted to sit here and make up a game that will sit here and replicate how you can be in a lowrider and drive around and get robbed. And, you know what I mean, for your <laughs> lowrider. If kids can think of that now, that's Grand Theft Auto. Right. Right. You know what I mean? And it's just his vision of a lot of different things, you know what I mean? Yeah. What, mm. Sounds you know like I mean? we're... If, like, yeah. you take away, yeah, his, 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 you know, him him working with, doing whatever, you know what I mean? I don't care if he was not the rapper and all this stuff. It's his vision to make everything click and his work put behind it, which was his hard-earned money, you know what I'm saying? And his idea to, for you guys to dress him up black and for you to do that him. Like, he was not only he bought all the pieces, but he... Mm. Your phone's going in and out a little bit, I guess, as you move around. I'm um, a little easy E. I was going to ask you just on the way out, um, you know, how your grandparents are doing. We hear rumors and such. Um, and just, you know, just checking in. Oh, I think we've lost him. All right, to be continued. Um, really a pleasure speaking with uh, Little Easy E. I, he's on the move, but you can find him on Instagram. You can find him on X, little L-I-L, -L, easy with a Z, underscore E, and uh, join the many, many folks that follow him. This has been an incredible week, um, and if you want to review what you've missed, our podcasts are available for free anywhere where podcasts live. And they also are on YouTube, where if the person came in studio, you can actually see them. Um, and every day you can hang out with me. The chat room is quite active and there's great conversation going on all the time. Um, Tavis Smiley's up next. He's got the best of Tavis Smiley uh, highlights from the week that passed. And man... So much to look forward to in the week ahead. I want to, my quote today, I'm going to Easy e um, He says, who gave it the title Gangster Rap? It's reality rap. It's about what's really going on. Um, and that's just like Eric. I'm Dominique DePrima. Um, join me on my Instagram, DePrima Radio. Let's keep the conversation going. If Molly Bell lets me, maybe I'll post the picture she sent me <laughs> of her and Eric together. Um, and it, it feels great to remember him. Lil Easy said a lot of things wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Easy E. I don't know if my radio career in L.A. would have persevered uh, because I got in a gang of trouble my first couple of years and he helped me get out. I'm Dominique DePrima. History is now and we are making it together. Until tomorrow, one love.
KBLA 1580 Santa Monica. Thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Mike Moore. Now here's the latest from the Black Information Network. Former President Trump's legal team is bringing up the First Amendment in the Georgia election interference case. His team argued in Fulton County Court yesterday that Trump's claims that the 2020 results were fraudulent.